Tap Ten Exclusive. We are the internet, yeah, I don't bitch. Go fuck, I, man, I'm the type of dad like I be spoiling the fuck out my kids. I man. can't wait. You have to. I got a boy. <laughs> they be getting ice cream ten o'clock at night and shit. Like, Whatever they want. <laughs> but I, Girl, hey, they know shit. you love them. They know but, you love yeah. them. I that's, like that's big. That's as huge. a dad to to young women, like I think it's important. I don't have any daughters, but if I have a daughter, I will definitely want to spoil her because that's you know you treat. You showing her how she should be treated by men. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, that's why I treat the mom really good. Yeah, hell yeah. You got to raise my voice at her. Yeah, at, that's 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 the shit that I'm talking about. Like yeah. you got to be respectful because people are always watching and they're yeah. gonna remember that. I always say kids are like leather, right? Like, you know, they're gonna have their scars in life, so they come out beautiful. But you, if you press too hard, you can pierce them. You get what yeah. I'm saying and mess up their mentality. Yep. Yeah. So that's why you have to be very delicate. Hell yeah, bro. So. Juju's gems, Juju's gems. <laughs> that is a fucking heavy gem. But I also think there's a balance, right? Because like most people I meet that I fuck with, that yeah. I love, have fucked up lives, like horrible childhood. <laughs> yeah, but you, and I respect the shit out of them. Character you know building. what I'm saying? Like yeah. it's weird. There's a balance, right? Like I'm balance, not saying bro, you have to everything, fucking, bro. You gotta have a balance in life. Yeah, exactly. That's why I stop weed. I'm like, man, I'm like, I'm right. This should take over me. Crazy. I love weed though. How like, long? How long? What was the like last time you stopped? Before this, like, have you never, ever stopped before? Never, never. So, like, Since I was like twenty-one. <laughs> Damn, you started smoking at twenty-one. Yeah, I started smoking at twenty-one every day until until now, until like two weeks ago. Wow. So you yeah. had like a good eight-year run. Yeah, <laughs> that's crazy. I'm like, that took eight years to get <laughs> asthma. <laughs> Fuck it. That's actually not bad. I've been smoking a lot longer than you, and to be honest with you, it does take over your life. It makes you late. You feel me? Procrastinate. You be, yeah, procrastinate. Sometimes, like, you're a creative person. Yeah. Like, you're a producer. So, like, I get it. Like, and when you're in your craft, you know, you locking in. You're going to be there for a few yeah. hours. So, you're going to smoke some butt. You feel me? Get in the zone. Get real high. You yep. feel me? Them sounds be hitting different when you extra faded. You know what I'm saying? Bro, they, but after doing it for so long, bro, like, that shit, it don't hit the same. Like, I don't make music the same. I don't get creative no more. Wow. It just make me lazy. Yeah. I get that. You feel me? But I got Tourette's. People don't even notice. I'd be like having tics and shit. And that's why I smoked in the first place. Well, because really? of beats, because of music, and, and because of that, because that shit stopped my, my blinking and shit. I had a problem growing up, like blinking too much, like like having really? little tics and shit. Y'all probably noticed, but. No, I didn't I, notice. I'm just I'm that's crazy. Though, bro. Like, that shit stopped me. That shit cured me. So the weed, like. It was a medicine for it. It slows you down or something? It just or? like calms my nerves down. But who the fuck is calling me, bro? <laughs> you my can bad, take it dog. if you have We to. already started? Yeah, we were. Oh shit! Cool. Sh shout out to y'all, man. <laughs> shit, let me uh put my phone on silent, bro. For sure. Hold on. We good. We we gonna intro on in a minute too. So we good. We just yeah. casually talking. Sorry, bro. This no, guy, cause these people sending me money. Hey, and you gotta then, uh, handle business. Nah, and, and he just keep calling me. Like I'm just, just wait, you know. Yeah, just you. wait till we done, bro. Shout out, man. Shit. Money God, got man. money ain't got no time. You yeah, feel yeah, me? Ain't got no ain't got no hours. <laughs> for real. You know Twenty four seven. For real bro it's crazy man hey but i appreciate y'all having me here man yeah, dude man. dj flip legendary yeah, dj flip in the fucking building sober as fuck sober sober as fuck sober um, as fuck right now dog i never thought the day would come and the journey <laughs> the the fucking journey to sobriety like what has this been like for you man has it bro, been like I've rough been like, well my biggest problem i think wasn't the weed it was the caffeine fuck, you feel me yeah. see me i'm the top i go to the gym every day yeah yeah and like I had this uh this sponsor, bro, that sends me pre workouts and mm. and and whey oh, protein and no. for free every month. So you just loads like, me up. I'm just <laughs> pouring the two so scoops every day, two three scoops, like getting lit before the gym, and, and then, then and then I'm getting high after and before, and then <laughs> I'm getting like I'm just I'm hella the faded, and then I'm getting the caffeine crashes. So I'm I'm tired now all day, you know. So right man it's crazy bro that's why that's why i had to quit but the journey right now is like the way i've been feeling bro is just like tired right mm. you feel me like right. i don't have natural energy yeah right you know what Deep. i'm saying right like and, i was and, falling asleep before i got here like driving yeah like, damn i'm like tired but now i got energy uh, uh, I, it's like a roller coaster you got natural energy it's a roller coaster yeah bro. it's been a roller coaster i'm still like my toxins are still leaving my body i think yeah. you know, i'm still early it's only been like two weeks bro 100 yeah. percent. you feel me but if you're working out that's good man yeah. you're getting out some of that <laughs> we'll anxiety yeah. yeah but also you know what you should check out you should get your testosterone levels te checked out because that you can have low testosterone which equals like low energy like lack of production and then like you know if you're working out 
and or you can take like supplements you know what i'm saying that will perks. boost that you can not perks perks make you your emotions uh, that's, that's Viagra? no 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 it's to testosterone excuse me i don't know if i'm pronouncing it yeah, right testosterone testosterone but yeah you should get it checked out that could be a serious reason why yeah, you feel yeah. what i'm, I'm saying it out, bro. no cap no i think cap. it's honestly just lack of caffeine like you, you go going from like a gajillion milligrams to zero yeah going from every it's, day for it's years. devastating it's since devastating since I, a, to yeah, since I was a kid taking caffeine like yeah, yeah i and love I'm colombian Oof. you feel me I'm so you full, fuck with coffee yeah, i'm yeah. full colombian my Ca- mom made coffee every day Cafe oh. still on that yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i was like 10 years old my yeah. boy. i love co- i love Maybe. coffee too i have so a would you take maker. the pre-workout and coffee Throughout the day, I, I would drink. No, yeah. no, hey, nah, nah. So you'd nah, be see, all I, I was responsible with it. Jacked up. Okay, okay, I was responsible with the caffeine. I wasn't okay. like trying to kill myself. Right, right. But I just got used to a. I made it a habit drinking pre workout every day. Right. For a long time, like two years, three right. years. That and should be getting you pumped though. It should be getting it started soon. not getting me pumped no more though. Wow. I'll take it. And I'm like, I'm still tired. You know Damn. what's funny? You know what I'm saying? Like, fuck, that's how much caffeine I was drinking. People that get sober, like people that stop smoking or stop yeah. drinking, you know what they do immediately in fucking AA and NA is they yeah. drink coffee. They get addicted to caffeine. Oh, yeah, bro. So that you don't even have that option. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Because like, I was doing everything. It's crazy. You know, and you know, and I'm I know I'd be exaggerating sometimes because I have homies like, for example, Big Head, he was like doing fentanyl and shit, like <laughs> crazy, crazy shit. shit. Yeah. You know, I was just he was off the, the fucking <laughs> fentanyl. Yeah, you uh, was addicted to pre workout. I was just also caffeine like, and I love weed. C4. <laughs> you know, like I'd be but it's good that, you know, I didn't let it become something else. Yeah. You know, I'm still, you know, it's still early, bro. I'd be getting like I'd be getting tempted. Like last night, I wanted to get a beer. Yeah. Like, I was Fuck. sipping on a beer too. Yeah, I wanted to di- drink a tall <laughs> can last night, a cold ass tall can. I'm sipping a big ass bottle. You're sipping one right now. It's under the table. <laughs> <laughs> shit, that shit gas. 805, my boy. Shit. I'd be, man, I love that shit. You know I hope we don't saying? make them relapse tonight. Bro, I might go home now and just, just FaceTime you, bro. Look what you did to me, dog. Nah. Yes, 805. <laughs> that's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes you need a Fuck. beer. It's dad life. You feel me? Nah, for real. Nah, that's, that's what made me. Ever since I had kids, I started drinking beer. Dude, I actually wanted to ask you about that. So you said you have four daughters. Yeah, right? four. What, when did you become a dad? And how did that impact you? <laughs> um well my, my daughter my first daughter she 11 right so you know so, i'm 29 for a minute 18 yeah yeah, yeah. 18 yep, yep. 18. and what was that like can you describe that like um what impact did that, did that like really motivate you in your career or was it like it, it uh it changed everything having kids bro you right know what i'm saying like right. that shit just i started getting blessed right. Word. i feel like money just started flying Fun from the sky, sky. <laughs> that's crazy you feel me that shit just falls down especially Maybe. when you got a good heart and good energy bro just one thing i want to say is that's what i tell people they're like well what about the money i'm like you're never in a financial position that you want to be in when you have a kid everybody yeah. wants to be a fucking you know billionaire gazillionaire whatever or maybe they don't but whatever but I said, as long as you handling your business and you taking care of your family, yeah. the blessings are going to fall out the sky, dog. Yep. Bags was just falling on me. Like, Shit. oh, racks right here. Racks right there. This like, is literally yeah. Phone calls, random phone yeah. calls, random this. Like, what? Like, yeah. Damn, so like, back to the story. So, yeah. Nah, anyway. it's energy, bro. Yeah. It's, it's the kids. We bring, they bring blessings. Facts. That's what I learned. Damn. Facts. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that kind of like. At that time, like you were making beats, I'm assuming. Yeah. At fucking eighteen. Yeah. So what like when did you start actually putting all this shit together? When did you start making beats? Uh like, I take was me like, back. I was like All right, so how old are you? I'm twenty nine. So I'm twenty nine. Okay. You twenty nine, you're around my same I'm th- age? I'm thirty one. I'm about all the same right. age. You guys remember the jerking days? Yeah, yeah, of course. Remember that uh that grew back in the day, uh Cold Flames? Yes. They used to make they made that song, Miss Me, Kiss Me, and that's you Alright, so those fools used to live in my house. Oh, what? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because I used to DJ. I wasn't making beats yet. I was DJing all the clubs and shit. I was a young kid, like 14, okay. 15, and I used to pay all these security guards to let me in the club and shit. Like I used to like put like you know, I used to hustle my way in there so I could meet promoters and shit. Damn. And like I got really swole when I was young, so I looked like I was 18. <laughs> you all jacked like, up. I used to go to the fucking <laughs> 18 and over clubs and uh yeah, I used to um, I I I finessed my way to 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 meet them, bro, and they ended up like fucking with me, and they ended up like, you know, I don't know, falling off the label and shit, and then they ended up staying at my crib and shit, and uh, <laughs> and then um, I went with my mom and dad and shit, you know what I'm saying, and 
And I used to watch Dash make beats. His name is Dash. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I used to watch him make beats every day in his in the room. And that shit just kind of like. Like over the shoulder. Like you're just Yeah, watching. I just watch him all yeah. day, lock in with the little red light, locked in all day, just making beats. And I'm like, damn. That shit kind of like got me into like, damn, I want to make beats. And then I didn't make beats for a while after that, for like, for like a year or two. But then I eventually started making beats. But that was like my inspiration though. Just that moment. Yeah, just like you can that point to house. that moment yeah. and be like, yeah. Damn. That was it. Yeah. Because you was locked in and that all day. That fucking changed your life. Yeah, it's crazy. And then I was, I'd watch them make beats all day. And what then, program uh, were they using? Reason. Okay. Wow. Reason. So and it wasn't FL. It wasn't FL. <laughs> it was Reason. Crazy. And then I started, uh, I got Reasons. And then I started making like these whack ass beats. And then, <laughs> you know, and then what like. Did they, what did they like sound like? Like shit. No. Uh, I, like, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like when you start, like you know, what was that start? Like, was it? Did it sound kind of like the era we were in, like at that time? Like, what? Mm -hmm. What did your beats kind of like some Lex Luger shit? Yeah, like Lex Luger's fire. Though. No, no, like, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying. No like, disrespect. My shit like, was like <laughs> trying to be like Lex Luger and DJ Mustard combined. That's so I don't fucking funny. It. Like, it was right? Just, it was horrible. Like, the, like a horrible <laughs> version. And then, uh, yeah, bro. Like, it just you know, I just. And then I quit making beats for a while, honestly, because it wasn't working for me. I don't know. Yeah. Like, I was like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep DJing. So I started DJing more clubs. And then I started getting fucked over by all this, these. This at 18? Uh, this uh. around like 18, 19. Yeah. yeah. And then I started DJing all the, the clubs. And then all these promoters kept fucking me over. I ended up like bitch slapping some promoter. I ended wow. up like yeah, burning so all my bridges in Hollywood and shit. And then I just went back to, to the hustle, you know, to yeah. not, not no music. I was like hustling. Like I was flipping cars, buying yeah. and selling cars on yeah. Craigslist and shit, like hustling, like flipping my money. Trying to make quick money. Yeah. yeah. And then, you know, some shit happened, bro. Like a couple of us, like we got like, you know, some dumb shit happened. And I was like, man, I got to stop doing this shit. Yeah. And, you know, I was like, I got to get back into to beats, bro. You know? And yeah. And then one day my brother-in-law, because I was staying at his house. He's like, hey, bro, hit this blunt. And I hit the blunt. And then that just made me want to make beats even more. Like, I was like, fuck. And then ever since then, I was locked in making beats, bro. Like, I slowly wow. stopped, like, hustling this way. And I started just make getting better at making beats. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Because of that blunt. <laughs> I, started, I started smoking weed every day because of him. It uh -huh. started from that moment. And from that moment. I was like 21 right there. And I started, oh, I started smoking weed every day. I was like 20. I started smoking weed every fucking day. But that made me get good at beats. <laughs> Mm -hmm. it's weird you were just locked in locked in and then i and then at this point this time of my life i was living in san diego right okay you know so like i still had like a couple gigs every now and then in hollywood so i would drive from san diego to even hollywood. if i didn't have hot gigs i would still like just go to the club to network or whatever yeah. like every thursday friday people. saturday sunday monday every i would just go from san diego to hollywood right and, yeah. and go just just go in the club bro yeah and uh from from that like i met young sam and Young Sam, you know, he's a big rapper out here. Shout yeah. out to my, my bro, Young Sam, you know, the inventor of the jerk movement. Shout out. You know, out, he, uh, the one of the kings. Um, he basically, uh, you know, I, I met him. He was, he was like headlining one of these clubs, performing. And, you know, I ended up like meeting him. And I was like, hey, bro, come to the studio right after. Like, it was one of my homie studios. And then he ended up pulling up. And then we made a song. It was like one, like you know, I still suck at making beats. I made a beat for him. We made a song. And that, that was the beat. That song, he, he said my tag in it. Like he said, DJ Flip, DJ make that flip. money flip. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He said that in the verse. Mm -hmm. And that's when, like, history, like, ever since then, Holy it was just shit. history, bro. Like, I had that tag. Like, I took the, what the, the fuck? I took that part out the song and, and put it on all my it. beats. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. of yeah. going to the club and shit. Because of weed, bro. If I didn't smoke weed, I wouldn't be making beats. And Shout going. out to weed. <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> If I didn't smoke weed, I wouldn't be a good positive drug Shout out story. to brother-in-law. <laughs> yeah, shout out to my brother-in-law. I'm motherfucking changed my life with the weed. Brother. Passing the weed. Yeah, he passed. He's like, bro, hit this. <laughs> He's and like, I'm change your life. Because me and him used to hustle together. These like on the cars. Like, yeah. Like hustle cars together. And then as soon as he let me hit that blunt, like that business started going slower. Right. Like, you you're like, me? yeah. Like, I, I started like fucking up. Fuck I was up. like, I, I didn't even know how to do this shit. No, I was getting too stupid. You couldn't do pink slips anymore. Yeah, I was like, fuck, man. <laughs> and then we, I was fucking the bag up, but Damn. I got focused on music. And then. What did like. Okay, so we have kind of the origin, which is beautiful. That's an amazing story. <laughs> but like, where does Flip come from? I want to see, like, where did you get your name from? My name came yeah. up. Uh, honestly, bro, I was just. Cause you're flipping know. cars? Nah, <laughs> it came from the party scene days back in the day. So there was like this party crew called Team Flip. 
And I don't oh. know why that shit like, well, like fuck love, I'm, I'm pimping or some dumb shit. Yeah. And then uh, all acronyms when you're a kid is like when I was a kid, shit. yeah, like some high school, like high school, you know, like some house party shit. Yeah. That's yeah. amazing. I used to DJ on the house parties. <laughs> right. And there was some party crew named that. And I don't know. One day I was like, fuck it. Like yeah. before Flip, they used to call me Temper, bro. Temper. <laughs> yes, bro. Because I had a bad temper, dog. Like I used to get in a lot of fights growing so up. So like, your temper would flip. Like, I, yeah, I used to have a bad temper. I used to get in a lot of fights growing yeah, up, bro. Like, yeah. I'll get in like so yeah. much trouble. High bro. school and shit, and right? I'm yeah. Going to jail, like all dumb shit, bro, as yeah. a kid. Yeah. And uh, I was like, I can't name myself DJ Temper, bro. That sounds too like. <laughs> Like gangsters, so I'm not no gangster or nothing, you know. I just get in yeah, a lot of fights, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. So there was this party crew called Team Flip, and I don't know. I just like the name Flip. That Named was myself it. DJ Flip. That's Dude, it. That's beautiful. <laughs> that's it. There's no meaning. There's no meaning to it, bro. I love how like that was that moment, and now it's like literally <laughs> rung bells through time. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because that started in in such a like organic kind of natural way. And now you've built like a DJ Flip brand. Yeah. You know, like that's with three P's. Crazy. Yes, with three P's. With three P's because Damn. Yeah, because uh there was some other DJ Flip from like fucking Ireland or something. You <laughs> so know, I was like, like yeah. I was like, fuck this fool. Yeah, fuck I, fool. I'm gonna add two more P's on my name. <laughs> that way you can't get <laughs> no it twisted. Back to that guy, but you can't get it twisted. Yeah. Damn. That fool was good too. He was a good ass DJ. That's fucking crazy. Yeah, that's so funny as shit. at what point, like, so you're flipping cars and then you start focusing on the beats? Yeah, this is a question that fucking every single producer or like up and coming producer like that watches the show would always want to know. Like, when do you actually start making money, bro? Off the beat. Yeah, I want to know. When you get a, when, when you start going like gold and platinum and shit, <laughs> like, you start so it starts with, with, with accolades, right? So, like, yeah. So, in, in some of the interviews, uh, different people would say, like, pretty much you have to, like, work for free in the beginning. You kind of got to give yourself to, you the gotta, studio. you got to do it because you love it, exactly. Yeah. A lot of time like, to the game. Man, people don't understand, like, you got to, you got to still be hustling on the side, bro. You right. can't just, like, you can't depend just on do this that. shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, even when you make it, like, you got to still, like, Get hustle, in. bro. Keep making, yeah. keep flipping it. Exactly, and yeah. it just depends what route you want to take. Some deals, some some producers take deals. Some producers stay independent. Like me, and I'm just, independent. I, I turn down shit. Shout out, you to know you. what I'm saying? Yeah. And I just find a way to. I've always been a hustler, so I find a way to make to make work. my money, bro, and feed my family and take care of my people, to take care of my team. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. So you got to find a way on the side first. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But once you build your brand, you know you can make money off your brand in many ways. 100. Yeah. percent And that's yeah. what I learned. You know what I'm saying? How, how, to, how to basically monopolize that. Exactly. Brand. And yeah. capitalize off it. You Fuck know, yeah. Especially if you don't want to sign no deal. You know, if you could find a way to make 200K a month by yourself, like, Who why cares? you got to sign yeah. a deal? You know what I'm saying? Don't be greedy. Just because right. you, you know have enough bread. Yeah. You'll, you'll be solid. fine. You can figure it out. You know Your what I'm saying? Your freedom is worth a lot more. Exactly. I feel like, right? Yeah. To yeah. have that creative freedom and do whatever you want and fucking talk to whoever you want and sign whoever you want. It's where you, you want that. Exactly. You don't right. want to have that fucking barrier. Exactly. You know? That's crazy. So would you like about how long into it? So let's say 18 is the genesis. So like yeah. at what point are you making money? Like 20, I'm 29. So 2016, 2016. So, so that's like was, six was, years ago, I was like 23, 24 or something like that. So you had to put in a lot of work yeah, leading up to that. Yeah, bro. I mean, yeah, I had to put in a lot of work. I, I work with everyone for free. Uh, that's I what I'm sat saying. in the studio for thousand hours for free. What you know were what some of, <laughs> what, what were some of the like artists you linked up with that you were literally in the studio grinding, putting in that fucking free work, putting shit together? Uh, like in the trippy early red. Days. I work with everybody, bro. Literally, bro. Like I've been in the studio with everyone for free. Yeah. You know, even to this day, bro. Like I still fuck with people if I fuck with them because I, you know, I found a way to make my own money, dog. Like, right. I'm, like. I do this because I love it. Yeah. Right. It's not because right. it's money. Like I make money from the all, money. Comes I make money it. from my brand now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm right. not from making beats for this guy. I don't even. I got songs with Lil Boosie that got millions of views that are yeah. new that don't really make too much money. Like, like I'm not tripping on that. You know what I'm saying? I do this shit because right. I love it. Right. Yeah. You know, it's for and the love of the sport. The money comes with it. Yeah. If you it's, know how to brand yourself. Yeah. You yeah. know that's why rappers got merch and 
you know, you got merchandise and they got yeah. all types of different yeah. little avenues, to make, avenues to make money, fucking bro. Fucking show money. Exact shows, all that. Yeah. And you still got the studio, right? Yeah. Then y'all had like, you got the whole building over there. Yeah. You got your vending machine, like yeah. you said, big dope. <laughs> Whenever you stop of, up in there, you have that big dope. the $40 Ace, my boy, Exotics. <laughs> you already hey, know. Just, Ooh. Hey, that's fire. <laughs> hey, in the machine. God damn. We have to I don't sell weed, that. though. That's not my no, thing. No, no, no. no. Vending machine. Like, I don't sell weed. Vending machine. Yeah. Although DJ Flip sounds like a cool strain. <laughs> yeah, DJ Flip amazing. OG. Yeah, we got DJ Flip OG. <laughs> I have a question. So, okay, so 808 Cartel is the label, right? Yeah. So how'd you like? How did that like all work? Like how'd you get involved? I was like, bro, I, I want. I need a. It was just me and all my homies, just a, a bunch of producers, you know. And I'm like, the face of it. You <laughs> yeah, know? So right, right. Just like, <laughs> how do I? I'm like, fuck. How do I make this like a like? And we're all Hispanic too. All the all the producers like we're all right. Hispanic. Right. Like I'm like or like. Like no disrespect, but like no one, no one was black. Straight yeah, up, yeah, yeah. no one was black in my team. Like yeah, at first, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, like all the homies were just like the white homie, the Hispanic homies. We all just right. make beats and shit. Right. And I was like, damn, we got, we got beats like hard ass beats, like 808 Mafia, bro. Like, <laughs> like we 808 Cartel, homie. Yeah, you you feel me? Straight up. Shout That's out 808. So shout out 808 Mafia, though. It's you such feel a me? good name, though. <laughs> yeah, I fuck I, with. I think awesome. Cartel sounds better than Mafia. Yeah. 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 Shout out to 808 Mafia, though. Yeah. But I got my, I got the name from them. Straight up. Like I'm not. I pay homies. Yeah. You know, what you know but that's fire though. A bunch of Spanish niggas getting down. We the 808 cartel. cartel. Like, we, got, we made all we got the, them dope ass beats. Yeah, <laughs> like exactly. Bro. Like, we got hard ass beats, bro. I'm like, and at that time I was like, man, we 808 cartel. That's it, bro. Like, there you go. You know. And then that's we ran amazing. with it. I even had a problem with Southside ones. Like he started like tripping once on me. I was gonna ask like because of that. Yeah, because Southside be tripping, bro. Yeah, he's like anybody with 808 and they name fuck him. I forgot what he said years ago. <laughs> And then he told me he's like he, he DM me on Twitter or some shit. I forgot I forgot honestly, but he's like pull up, send the Addy, like trying to fade me and over shit. the like, name. Well, I'll knock you out, huh? Over the fucking name? He, I don't I don't remember honestly. I forgot what it or was. Or just because of the eight oh eight? Like I what? forgot what it was. Honestly, don't remember. It was like twenty seventeen. Okay, so it's a long time ago. You know, yeah. I've been smoked like out ever five, since yeah. then, yeah, yeah. so I don't remember. But yeah. maybe I as focus you, outside though. That's yeah. all I love. Maybe as you stay sober, you'll start remembering all that weird shit. You know, yeah. I mean? come back to you, bro. I hope. <laughs> yeah. I hope I didn't burn my brain cells off <laughs> forever. Wow. You good? You good? You locked in. Only time will tell. So I started stuttering more and shit. Whenever ever since I started smoking, I'm like, damn, I stutter more now. I'm, I'm slower. I'm just like, I can't focus. Bro, but, so far you've been good. So yeah, yeah, I'm no sure worries. Is. So 808 cartel, uh, uh, a bunch of homies together making beats. Spanish dudes, you know, majority. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, let's have him spin the wheel. Oh wait, okay. I want to spin the wheel, and then I want to get yeah. into more detail. Yeah, okay, I want to ask let's about this. This is like a good segue okay. oh shit what's this, this all right so like tap in wheel little game we got right here boom we go how you spin that thing like that you get three spins you land uh, on something it's kind of simple self-explanatory question uh, uh, uh. all right spin it don't be scared of it I now it. there you uh, go see what yeah. fate decides <laughs> see what fate decides the weed would you rather oh, <laughs> all right shit. he's gonna put something on the board would you rather and then you tell us what you'd rather this is lit this is the hardest podcast ever bro. <laughs> let's see what happens <laughs> is it gonna be big? Can we see? Yeah, it? yeah, he's gonna let's see it on the board. All right. Would you rather have sex with a goat, but nobody knows? So this is between you and the goat. Or would you not have sex with a goat, but everyone thinks you had sex with a goat? <laughs> what? Let me read this again, bro. I feel like I'm high now. Hold on. Have sex with a goat, but no one would know. Are you a goat fucker or not? So, no, 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 no. That is not what the so, narrative is. I'm gonna have sex with myself then. I'm just playing, dog. I'm just playing. I'm just fucking with you. I'm just playing, dog. Um, honestly, bro, damn, like, I was cocky, huh? Fuck. I'm just playing. Dog. No, no, no. What are you talking about? <laughs> you can literally say if you if you don't fuck the goat, right? The word on the street is you fuck goats. Does that make sense? So can the goat be like her goat? It's like bah, just like a, a animal? animal. It can't yeah. be like the greatest of all time. No. Uh, oh, uh, that's fine. what you meant. That was a great joke. That was womp, amazing. Womp, yeah. We gotta hit that. <laughs> womp, womp, womp. Uh, <laughs> hey, my that. jokes fucking suck. He'll do it. Post. Post. I, got the, I got the worst fucking jokes ever. Uh, honestly, bro, I probably just fuck the goat. <laughs> there you go. I probably just fuck That's the shit out boy. the goat, bro. Fuck that I'm fucking goat. the goat, bro. Fuck him. I'm fucking the goat, dog. Doggy style too. <laughs> Hell yeah. The only way. <laughs> Pulling the hair and all that. Pulling the hair off and shit. Choking that bitch. I'm fucking a goat, bro. You got another. Yeah. As long as nobody know, I'm fucking the goat. Who bro. gives a fuck? It's spin between you and the goat. Me and the goat, bro. All right, spin it. You got uh -huh. another spin. 
This is lit. All right, what do we got? <laughs> Another good one, hopefully. Uh, we have some type of oh, snacks. Shit. Uh, oh, no, shit grub. No, no, Shout out not, to shit grub. Yeah, it's not nothing bad. So it's exotic snacks. Okay. You get to taste one and tell us if it's gas or trash. All right, Wendy's. What is it? Wendy's, Wendy's Frosties? Frosty Frosty. cereal. cereal. Open it. Yeah. yeah it's for you. That's uh, your gift. Oh, uh, bet. <laughs> you tell bet. Thank you, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I tell you if it's gas or trash? Yeah. It tells you Wendy's like. Frosty. All right, bro. Let's get it. How do we feel about packaging? It's gas. It's gas? Okay. Branding's on point. It's not no dog food in there, right? No, oh, no, no, man, no. I just playing. <laughs> we haven't even fucking ever tried this. Mm. Oh, my bad. Mm. No, you're good. Let it spill. It's fine. Mm. Oh, it's good? Mm-hmm. Throw some milk in that bitch. So, yeah. this is this is gas. gas. This is gas, bro. Wow. Not a pass. That's yours. Take Certified that with you. Gas. That's yours. Mm. Take that. Share that with your daughter. Take that back. This is a munchy shit. Yeah, share yeah. with your daughters tonight. This is a munchy shit right here. <laughs> nah, I don't know. That's all you. I'm going to eat that shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you, get one more, you get one more spin. I fucking love it. All right. All right. <laughs> Round three. Round three. <laughs> what are we Y'all got? funny. I fuck with it. <laughs> uh, Cap or no cap? Okay, cap so or no cap. We can we put this put on the board and tell us if it's cap or no cap. Cap or no cap. What do you want me to? FL, FL Studio. FL Studio is FL cap. Studio. Is it the best producing? Everybody's asking because some people is say FL Studio the best makes the best game. beats. They say no said. cap. No cap. FL Studio. You fuck, with, you, fuck, you fuck with FL now? This is what I use, bro. Yeah. Oh, you, I, I thought you were still on the reason. Nah, something. hell no. Nah. <laughs> fuck, that's a cap. This is the shit. <laughs> that's a cap. This is my life right here. <laughs> this is what I, I live for right here. Okay. Hell yeah. That's that far? Hell yeah. That's FL what, 20, 12? Yeah. I don't Whatever know. I, I used to have my that's cousin. My shit, though. Back in the day, I had that as a young boy on the, on the, um, on the PC. Back oh yeah, FL. it's mandatory. Yeah, FL Pro. I used to use Logic. I went from Reason to Logic, and then, and then back to, to FL because all the homies I was trying to collab with them, and they was all on FL. Damn, so I can't collab easy, so I had to switch. So this is like a details question because mm-hmm. you're a producer, right? Yeah. So Mac or PC? PC as a producer, PC all day. Down. Mac is whack. Take that. Take down the notes. <laughs> Write that down. Young producers need to know this shit. <laughs> yeah. Because they go out and spend five grand on a fucking MacBook Fuck Pro. Fuck that, dog. Even though I got an iPhone, AirPods, and all that no, bullshit. I know, yeah. <laughs> but like, Fuck to make Mac. beats on. Fuck Mac, dog. That shit whack. <laughs> because, bro, it's like I got a fucking gaming computer that will shit on, you know, on every Mac. Everything, yes, yeah. You feel me? I all my computers I built, all my PCs and yeah. shit, they're like. And you can Bluetooth your fucking controller. Bro, I got. Call it a day. I play well, with the mouse and keyboard if I, if I, if I fucking play. play if I play a games you and play? shit. You play? Yeah, I play Warzone. Okay. You on Warzone? Of course. You a dad like me? <laughs> we at home. We in the crib. You know, all dads, dads, all, all dads love when Warzone. Kid, when them kids <laughs> all is dads love Warzone. You take out your aggression you and shit. The, yeah. I play my I, my kids are good at Fortnite. To, I need to no build way. a um. I'm trying to build a racing yeah. sim right you gotta now. Gotta get a Twitch for them. Yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> some Fortnite shit. Some for, What were you saying, bro? No, I'm I'm trying to build myself like a racing sim rig, like with like. Oh shit! That shit. That's like. Uh, yeah, that shit moves and shit. Yeah, well, really, just like the nice steering wheel and a nice pedal and stuff, like hydraulic ones, so they can like have like Damn. actual like I think, feeling. I think they have They're like um, three, like a nice like assembly. I think starting is like three thousand. I think they have those fucking. They have chairs for that. They build. Yeah, they do. It's like a gaming. Like it's a literally like you're sitting in a fucking gaming chair and it has the wheel and all that shit. They need to make like a real one of those for Call of Duty. Damn. Right? Or like Fortnite. That'd be crazy. You feel me? We're like, I don't know, dog. That should be fire, man. Yo, that would do, be fire as fuck. You could run like a treadmill or some shit. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you just, you just shit. running and shit, yeah. Some, <laughs> some Ready Player One type shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's all virtual. That's crazy as fuck. You really shooting shit? Damn. Well, okay, back to the details of producing, because I want to make sure I get this. So yeah. for you, you worked with like a fucking variety of artists. We don't yeah. have to, everybody knows the list. You can fucking yeah, yeah. Google the list, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. Bro has made a lot of tracks with people, right? Yeah. Who are some of like session wise, like some of your favorite artists you work with? Boosie. Boosie, period. It's funny as hell. Boosie badass. No, just because he's the realest one. Just that's he's fire. Just one of the most like That's fire. Shout first, out Boosie. I didn't, I didn't even know Boosie. He called me. He's like, Hey, my son used your beats. I'm like, for real? He's like, Where you at? I'm cash you out. I'm like, All right, bet. Really? Like, that's, yeah. That was the first. That's the first phone call I ever had from Boosie. I was that's like, fire. I, I was just chilling in my car. I was just chilling in my car. I get a <laughs> random phone call. I'm like, I deny it because I don't answer phone calls. <laughs> like, and then he's like, it's Boosie. You know, I'm like, oh shit, let me call this one back. <laughs> I call and it's Boosie. He's like, where you at? 
He's like, what's up, Flip? That's what he said. He's like, what's up, Flip? <laughs> I'm like, what up? He's like, hey, my son use your beat or some shit. He's like, that shit hard. He's like, I'm a, he's like, where you at? I was like, oh, I'm right here in, in LA or whatever. He's like, pull up. I'm going to cash you out. So oh, I pull up right shit. there and 30 minutes later, cashes me out. That was it. And then, and then he's like, pull some beats up. And then he made a hit. Like I pulled up some fire beats. He loved it. And then ever since then, we've been connected. That's fire. And then now he come to the studio oh. all the time. He like live in my studio when he come to LA. And then, like, he, he done brought NBA Youngboy to my shit. He done brought, like, everybody. That fool does, he's the plug. There you wow. go. I fuck with Boosie. <laughs> Shout out, Boosie. Boosie. Like, he fuck with me. Like, no, he put me on his we, albums, catches me out. We that's talk, fire. We talked to a rapper, uh, or an R&B artist, t Rel from fucking uh, Kansas City or something. <clears throat> and he collab. he told us his favorite person he's ever worked with was <laughs> Boosie. Yeah. Like, yeah. they worked together. They uh, He linked with him on Instagram. And then they met up in, like, some basement. And fucking made a song. Oh together. no, they were at a show. Yeah. And right after the show, he was like, "Hey, let's. I'm trying to get you on a song." He was like, "All right, let's yeah. go. You, yeah. Let's go to the studio." And he right came now. to like a home studio. Like yeah. he right went then. to a. see a real one. He don't give a. Fuck he didn't give where a you fuck. At. Yeah. yeah. That's amazing. That's fucking. I, I, he don't I, care where you at. He'll make you, you put a laptop up with a mic right now. He'll record on this mic and that laptop right now. He's he a professional. He just crazy. real one. That's yeah. fire. He doesn't give a fuck. That's he's fire. not like I need a million dollar studio, motherfucker. <laughs> like you know, he don't care. Yeah, he let, let's he get just, it done. If he fuck with you, he'll fuck with you. And that's yeah. why I like Boosie. You know, that's, that's, that's why I always show him love. And and have you ever, I don't know if you ever seen my little videos I got on Instagram with Boosie. Yeah. I got a little promo video with Boosie. Yeah, that shit got a million views on it. I done made over two hundred k. 300,000 off that promo video and he did it for me for free. God, there you go. You know what I'm saying? Also, I'm like, I got you flipped, don't worry. Like, you know, yeah. I'm like, damn, like, it's a real one. Like, that's crazy. I gotta, I gotta, like, that's why I would never say no to him whenever he wanna use my studio. Like, yeah. I will always yeah. show him love, bro. Like, that's yeah, like, just, it, it, I see him like my uncle or some shit. Like, yeah, I love that fool. 100%. <laughs> you feel hey, me? For real, Boosie. Shout out Boosie. I feel like he don't get enough respect and, like, and people don't mention his name enough. He be throwing mass shows for, like, the, like like the Bro, down rich. south area yeah he rich rich, rich but also yeah. but also he just be taking care of his people you feel oh what I'm yeah saying? i witnessed it yeah he, yeah. he do he literally do, you were a benefactor yeah he yeah. Do, he do mass yeah. shows you feel he put together shows for people he be bringing artists down like little baby in them he be getting them because he has the respect you yeah. feel what i'm saying he been around for got forever yeah, yeah. so That's like true. shout out boosie man so i learned he got the streets and the streets is important you don't need to go plant them like that's what i'm saying like boosie like I don't think he made too much money off his streams, but off I, the music, yeah. But yeah. bro, I seen a line outside my studio, fifteen thousand each a verse. I had like there's like twenty people outside paying fifteen thousand each for a verse, Crazy. you know, for a feature. Yeah, I'm like, there's a just, line outside my studio. This was just cashing out. That's bringing bags of money in. That's off the strength of his name. That's off the strength of who he is. That's what I'm saying, and that's I learned crazy. that from him. Mm, that's that's why I learned how to do my a shit. A bunch my, of littles make a lot. Well, <laughs> that's, that's why. True. That's why I do my package deals. Where like I fly artists out. And yeah, shit. we Yo, was talking about I that. I want to like that. That's on Let's my list. That's on my it. list. I was talking about this before you got here. Yeah. So like you feel like I guess you felt you got a lot of compassion and and great obviously opportunity in the game like from other people yeah. right. So what inspired you to fucking start this up like where you have these like package deals and like what what Boosie. made you want to was that who was that interaction Boosie. <laughs> i've been doing these packages for like three years already because four of, years because of Boosie. no Boosie's the one reason I, like this shit took off because he i seen him i seen these i seen this fool come to my studio and like i said i would see a line outside of people paying this fool fifteen thousand each you know, I ain't pocket watching or nothing. I'm like, damn, this woman just made a hundred bands today in front of me. Like, what am I doing? Yeah, like, I why am I not? Yeah, I was why? like, I gotta do the same. Like, I can take half. And I be was okay. like, <laughs> the next day I made a video like, yo, man, I got these package deals. Pull up to my studio, bro. People started tapping in, and and it's like, bro, like, what? But, but I see how people with Boosie, I see how happy people get to work with him, and <clears throat> the same, does they feel the same with me? So I'm like, damn, we just like low key changing people's lives too. Like, yeah, yeah you, you know never know, you, and you never know what can come from this. Exactly, you never know who's gonna blow up. On yeah, this shit. you yeah. got. Even, that's why like, I yeah. fuck with that, and why you say I just do it for the love of the game, because not every shot is gonna go in, but the ones that do are the ones that count. You exactly. feel me? That's what's, fine. What's one of the like most like notable or like memorable uh packages you did like where you flew somebody out they they collaborated with you you fucking did shit i'm gonna keep it real they all low-key fire bro because all of them. everyone that come through that spend six thousand or three thousand right they, they they like they believe they already know they fire like yeah you don't just spend that much money if you don't if you're you not believe. fire bro yeah yeah you know what i'm saying so right. it's like it's like so many talented people bro it's like so, 
So I have a question. So you seen Boosie doing this. So how'd you come up with your business model and how you do your packages? Like how was like the first one? Because you know the first one, all how you started in the beginning is not how you do it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So tell me how you even like was thinking like, all right, like damn, I'm gonna fly somebody out. Blah blah blah. Yeah, like the mixed. Yeah, color, like how'd you how'd you come up with this track shit? EP? Like how did you design your package? Well, <clears throat> I just basically. So I've been doing the packages before Boosie. Right. Okay. But I said Boosie because he's the reason I went so hard on it after. Yeah. Okay, like okay. at first I was that just was doing them and I wasn't like putting shit together. Like I was just like, hey, you want to come work with me in the studio? Right. You know, pull mm. up for this price, whatever. And then, um, and then, and then I fucking, uh, what was the question again? <laughs> like how'd you come up with like, <laughs> how'd you, how'd you come up with like this whole shit? Like, uh, we're going to fly you out. Like, like the versus, itemized list. Of yeah. Versus, shit, like, versus how you uh, doing. Yeah. So like, I already knew I built a fan base on the gram and shit. Right. <clears throat> and I was like, yo, like how do I book my studio out without renting it out for 50 bucks an hour and shit? Mm -hmm. You know, I was like, and then I noticed all my following isn't from LA. They off like, I made it, hits for like trippy red and everybody over, yeah. like everywhere. I'm like, how the fuck? I'm like, I gotta fly people out. It just clicked in my head. I was like, I gotta, I gotta pay for their flight. I was like, I gotta do a package where they get flown out and they get, they get the fuck with me in the studio, yeah. or my team, whatever. And then, and then at the same time, like I had bought a camera to shoot a music, music videos for my artists. So oh. I was already kind of shooting videos. So I'm like, yo, let me just sell all this together. Yeah, like why not? Beats, studio time, mixing and mastering. I shoot your music video and I will pay for your flight. Fuck it, and I'm gonna do it for the low. You know, and the mixtape cover. Everything, yeah, mixtape promo, whatever you I want to promo all that. That's what yeah. I'm saying. I, that's crazy. <clears throat> and um, interviews and shit. Like I, I'm making a whole podcast right now for yeah. unsigned artists. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, all the people that get packages off me, like I'm interviewing them and I'm making a whole channel for that. So that way people could come. It's like a, it's like a business, but at the same time giving them a platform. Yeah. You know it's what I'm a, saying? It's, a, in, it's I, full service. It's a shop. fucking full, yeah. it's full service. Yeah. So and a lot of artists, like don't they need that know. press, you know? And they, they don't even know sometimes how yeah. to even like get it done like that from A to Z for them. And even if it don't make you famous, it's just like as an artist, like it make you feel good to like be able of to do course. an interview like like me i don't care about no views or nothing i just feel good doing this right now yeah you know, i'm a producer i i i feel everybody i do interviews or do anything like it just feel good to be in that it just of course you don't know like how inspired or motivated i might be after this or you know or, i might exactly. inspire somebody else exactly yeah or this might just go viral you never know you know what i'm saying that's how i see it yeah like, you never know it could go viral it might not it don't Everything. matter yeah. Yeah. it's like you just the feeling you get and that's yeah. what i learned that's crazy i'm like these people like they gonna feel great doing this, you know, and that's the right. whole. That's the key, right. you know, making them feel happy. Yeah, right. straight up. What's your What's your experience been <clears throat> podcasting and shit? How has that been? Um, shit, my it just I, I just have fun with it, bro. Like, like I talk a lot, it? dog. You enjoy Fuck it? Though? Yeah, I just talk a lot, dog. I'm a <laughs> fucking here. talker. I got ADHD. That's, that's amazing. <clears throat> but I suck at interviews and I suck at questions, so I don't do I don't do questions. I just talk about aliens and shit and like and like <laughs> that's the actually world. Actually, better. I you like know, because I'm like, what's up, bro? What the fuck you do today, dog? Like, oh shit, all oh, right. You know, it's just like because I'm like amazing. a naturally like hyper <laughs> yeah, person. Yeah, yeah. Same here, same dude. Like, I love that. Yeah, so I don't I don't base the like my podcast kind of they don't suck, but it's like I'm just on some like. I'm just me with it. You you having fun, yeah. but but I'm I'm organizing it right now to where it's like I'm giving like some of the homies their own shows, and uh, like some big names and shit, and they have like they're doing the interviews with artists all over LA. Like I got like Young Sam, you know he he know everybody like Schoolboy Q, all them like he he fuck, so he bringing his yeah. own guests, but I'm right. on platform and shit. So yeah. I'm doing it like that, and then I'm gonna have my own show where I just like do me, you know. So you do it is the is the actual like taping and recording of the show does that take place at your studio yeah, at my so podcast just, studio so you have the whole like i have a separate studio for it, yeah oh it's a separate thing yeah i got okay. my main studio i got a building and i got a whole nother spot where Damn. Uh, is where i got my it's another it's a recording studio there too but yeah but at the, it's like a it's a section where it's a podcast it's your it's your section yeah to do like your shit <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah 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 that's fucking sick. i'll be renting it out too Damn. Yeah, you hey, gotta people want people want to use the podcast studio. Fuck it, I, I rent it out to them. That's why I'm just a businessman, bro. Yeah. Like, like I, I ain't done. no full time podcaster, my boy. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I, I ain't no full time producer no more either. I just I'm just a businessman, bro. Yeah, get the you money. Know? You have to do businessman, and I just want to, you know, 
take care of my team and and make people happy bro there you go people Damn. you know i do twitch too i'll be on twitch and shit crazy i'll be doing the streams live streams i fucking love it man that's fire i'll be doing everything like i'm be, like i'll be racking up on twitch shit. too <laughs> hey twitch like, is fire i'll be that's racking fire. up on twitch twitch is the future twitch is hard as fuck. Putting <laughs> this on. i'll be doing live music reviews on that bitch yeah that's smart as yeah. fuck too people yeah. love that and it's like another way to like interact another with avenue. people you just charge, network too you know yeah well it's like I'm not gonna sit on Twitch six hours listening to music like for free. So I make people, you know, why well, do <clears throat> for a couple hours? But you know, you make them, you charge whatever you charge, twenty five bucks, fifty bucks to listen to someone's song. Yeah, you know, you get two hundred people sending two fifty bucks like every day. Like fuck it, like, that's great. You make you know two hundred people sending fifty bucks. Gas money. <laughs> you, know, you make five thousand a day if you want LA. all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I'm just saying it's like, and at the same time, like. I be doing that little spin the wheel shit too, where I like I give away, I, I be giving away studio sessions every day for free Aww. in a music video. I be giving away a package deal every day Genius. because it gets paid for, bro. You know, like people cash at me to listen to their music, and then I choose the best songs and I give away a couple sessions. I be like, yo, yeah. you get a free session, you get a free every day. So people yeah. always tapping in, trying to get free sessions and shit. So every okay, Smart. so let's let's talk yeah. about okay. So now you're a businessman, right? Not a full time producer. Let's talk about <laughs> a a day. A schedule or a week of DJ Flip, like what? Do yeah, you what's do? that look like? And being like a parent, <laughs> this guy knows. Over there. <laughs> He's like, I know. Yeah. He's like, fuck, I know. Dog. <laughs> uh, shit, I wake up. Uh, I wake up. He pulls up to my to my office, <laughs> uh -huh. the crib actually, the office. Yeah, my yeah. shout out. Yeah. Uh, I take my kids to school, and then we just get you know. I tap in with my team in the Philippines. Um, I got a whole team out there that like do all my emails and shit, respond yeah. to all my emails. They're called virtual assistants. Virtual VAs. assistants, yeah, yeah. My VAs, you know, I pay them and shit every two weeks. Genius. And they, uh, you know, I got a I got a click funnel, so I got I collect a bunch of emails and numbers and shit, and and I'm sending like <clears throat> deals out, offers out to people all day, and I'm getting constant emails, so I just be hopping on the emails. I'm in the field working, bro. Like even though I got a team, I'm in that bitch, talking to people all day, doing everything. So when I wake up, I'm on the grind. You know, and Crazy. it's like, it's a, it's a sales-based company, basically. You got to make sales, bro, for this shit to run, bro. You know what I'm saying? It has so, to happen, yeah. <clears throat> so I just make sure all the whole team on point. So I wake up in the morning, take the kids to school, come back, and just get on the grind, bro. Hit the gym, come back, get on the grind. You Crazy. know what I'm saying? Just respond to people all day, talk to people, message people, make meetings, phone calls. Just go crazy, bro. Just you know run what I'm plays saying? all day. Yeah. yeah, running plays. Go to the studio, make beats still. I still make beats every day. I still record people every day. I make projects, all that shit. Thank you, bro. Crazy. It's the withdrawals, bro. Oh, <laughs> the withdrawals. <laughs> it's the withdrawals, bro. I need hella water, dog. <laughs> I want a beer. <laughs> no, I'm not taking it. Hey, hey. I don't want it. I want it, but I don't want it. Crazy. Uh, I'll take it. <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah, dog. That's what I do all day. I wake up every fucking day and I get on the fucking grind, bro. You know, I got like over two, three hundred thousand emails I collected from my website. Yeah. So and I got a large list, bro. So, <clears throat> you know, I'm constantly like finding ways to like reach out, and reach out and like find a way to like capitalize and, and make business moves and push it together. You know, I'm doing a I'm trying to put a book together. I'm trying to, you know, we're shooting a movie and shit with the Damn. homie. We're doing this, some L.A., like some crazy shit, bro. My with my artist runner. It's wow. Called, uh, he just put a book out called Loyalty Don't Exist. So it's like we're doing shit like that. Like, yeah, I'm trying to like just like run a bunch of plays. just do a bunch of plays I, yeah. I have adhd bro i can't just like do this yeah no you it's feel amazing me? like i yeah. had like one thing i have to like i'm everywhere yeah bro. You i got like a hundred arms and shit cook yeah. a lot of pots yeah yeah so it's like i don't I know like if that's that. a good thing though but that's just that's just the way i move because i it's get bored of shit it's diversifying that's good yeah. that's good i get bored of shit be. quick bro yeah so it's like i gotta like keep finding the next thing is yeah. there is there any like I mean, obviously, you said you're not full time producing anymore, but are there any artists that you're currently working with that you're excited about? Like, uh, uh, Yo Gotti artist, ten percent. He he uh, he going up right now. You know, I've been fucking with him lately. Shout out to him. Yeah, shout out to ten percent. Uh, yeah. And just like all the homies, bro. Like, I don't focus no more on that shit, bro. I don't right. focus like all my producers like that I got on the team. Like, I'm getting them bags like placements and shit like i let yeah. them lock in with all these guys now like boosie or anybody pull up i, I send them you know Damn. what i'm saying i'll pull up too but i'll be like having i'm trying to help them get placements because yeah you know i already had my little run with that shit <clears throat> and that's like not what i want to do yeah forever you, you know? want yeah. and you want them to glow up too yeah, yeah. i want to have like a solidified fucking business bro where this right. shit's like long term like i'm not yeah. tripping on getting 20 plaques 100 plaques uh, yeah i'm just trying to make sure like we making millions bro and you're good yeah, and yeah. the whole team good right and that's it like off this shit off, off what we love it's crazy you feel me so if yeah. i'm doing this i got i'm trying to, I'm, I'm making money off of it you know what i'm saying yeah and that's 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 where i'm at with it 
I love it. You know, it's not just about money, but it's like, well, I got four kids, my boy. Well, yeah. Four yeah. kids. You know, I, I was taking care of my mom, my dad. Rest yeah. in peace. My dad just passed away a couple months ago. All right, man. <clears throat> but RIP. it's like, I've been taking care of them and shit with this. So it's like, yeah, this is all I do, you know, is music. But I respect the I fucking. Got like different avenues. The hustle and the fucking yeah. grind. It's crazy, man. It's, yeah. it's really fucking admirable. It's amazing. Thank you, bro. Um, <laughs> who can we tell? I mean, I want everybody to know, like, who's this, like, roster of 808 Cartel? So we can Shit, get there out you know there. What's, you know what's crazy, bro? I cut 90% of my team off. Damn. It's crazy, bro. I cut 90% of them off. <laughs> Sometimes you have to, bro. I had, a, I had a way bigger team, dog. It's crazy. My team was so much bigger, but I cut them all off because people switch up, bro. People get jealous, yeah. bro. People get jealous. People start watching your pockets. Yeah. I had a fucking engineer that was engineering for me, and he was jealous because, well, he was mad because... He felt like he was entitled to twenty percent of my packages or some shit like that. Ten, twenty, like what? Like, like I could hire any energy engineer from LA Recording School. They'll charge me twenty five dollars <laughs> an hour right now, thirty bucks an hour. To rec- Don't be mad because that's the deal that you didn't negotiate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and on top of that, it's like, it's was he like, good though? Yeah, bro, he was working full time. But was he good though? He was fired. Yeah, yeah. he's fired. Why? So why you couldn't come to a happy medium? Yeah, I didn't even know he felt like that. Like, yeah. what the fuck? He just out of nowhere. This shit just bam. Like, but it's like, it was like just like little shit. I, bro, I'm, I'm letting him, I'm letting this kid lock in the studio with a little boosie. Yeah. I'm giving this kid placements. I'm changing this fool's life. Came from nowhere, being an Uber driver to like quitting that shit to working for Flip. And now he going up, working with all his favorite rappers. Wow. Like, and he going to hit me with this type of like, shit. You should be doing I, this shit for free, I, bitch. Yeah. You feel me? <laughs> fuck you talking about. You should be doing all this shit for free. <laughs> you got me fucked up. Because I did it for free for like 10 years. That's what you, you got to do. Yeah. Like shit. That's how I felt. And, uh. You know, but I had to get rid of a lot of people, bro, because they start like yeah, pocket watching, pocket watching, bro. And like, why feelings you pocket too. watching? They're in their you know, feelings they, too. they see me. I got a badass truck, hundred twenty thousand dollar truck. I customized. It's in the shop right now, though. See, that's the you thing about I'm custom shit. I, I'm in a rental. I pull up in a rental, bro, <laughs> no, because they, my fucking uh something with my transmission or, or some shit, bro. I don't know, bro. Oh, like it's oh. a brand new truck, bro. You got I got lift, warranty. You got lift the truck. Yeah, yeah, big ass lift what, the truck. Twenty five hundred. Uh, no, I got a Trail Boss, a 6.2 liter Trail yeah, Boss. Okay. I'm, I'm a car nigga, so yeah, I was just I got, a, I got a Chevy. Yeah. Chevy Silverado, <laughs> uh, 6.2 liter Damn. Trail Boss. Yeah, the big boy, dog. That's crazy. Yeah, so I lifted that shit, put 37 inch tires on it, six yeah. inch lift, customized matte black, the whole Holy truck. Yeah. 2020, shit. it's 2020. Beautiful. Um, yeah, shit's sick, bro. Fucking straight piped. When it comes you know, out the shop, you everything, see bro. It. I done customized that shit. TVs in that bitch. Yeah, Damn. I love, I love that type of shit. I want, I was, shit, I, you did I'm the a, like I'm pimp my ride shit. That shit look beast, bro. I'm about to do my duty like hard. that. All the paisas fuck with my yeah, shit. Yeah, the paisas like the trocando way. You oh, they're like, hey, get troca. Yeah. I'm like, that troca is nice. That's yeah. so good. Hey, all the paisas. I got love. a dually, so I know I'll be on it. Like, yeah, I'm yeah, on it. That I'm, truck's sick, bro. I'm gonna get a turbo diesel. I'm gonna get a platinum now. I'm gonna shit on these niggas, bro. The only reason I didn't get it because the exhaust. I wanted my shit to be like. I didn't get no 5.7 liter truck because I don't like the way they sounded. So yeah, 6.2 got, is nice. Yeah, the 6.2 sounds sick. I straight piped it. That shit just like, that shit sound crazy, I'm bro. A, crazy, I'm about to get man. a dually, bro. I'm not playing. Either a high country. That's right? sick. That's the same one as mine, basically. I got the, Yeah, yeah. I got yeah, a Chevy yeah. plug, though. I got I got, I got, got the truck. I'm the way. Yeah. I'm going to keep it real. I'm about to get a Tesla truck. Yeah, facts. Damn. I like that. That's I'm going to put my $100 deposit on that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? You know it's 100 bucks to get yeah. that shit. Gas yeah. is crazy right now, huh? Boy, yeah. I just spent 140 bucks to fill my shit up. Like, fuck you. Fuck, fuck yeah. you. Yeah. Fucking, what's going on? Uh, who, who raising the prices of the gas? Who, Joe Byron. <laughs> Joe Byron and <then> fucking <laughs> Joe. Fuck Joe Byron. Uh, Byron. Man. Fucking Byron, <laughs> Man, that food's fucking Byron. I love it. No, I'm teasing. No, no, no Byron. That food, dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's amazing, man. They gonna come oh, knock yeah. on my door tomorrow. Shit, yeah. man. I, 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 you, I heard up. you got the truck, fool. <laughs> <laughs> I heard you got that truck. It's mine now, bitch. It's not coming like from it. the shop. God it's damn, coming with me. Yeah. That's crazy, my man. <laughs> God damn. So, uh, if we want, like, if we want people to stay tapped in with DJ Flip, right? Is the best way Instagram? Uh, Instagram. Uh, Instagram, email, but my you know the team gonna respond to you. Right, right, right. Uh, 
Yeah, bro, if you ever see, you see me at the gas station or some shit, you know what I'm saying? Say what's, <laughs> say what's up. up. I'll say what's up. You DJ, I'm probably DJ with my Flip kids, with so P's. say hi. Yeah. So say hi, DJ polite. Flip. Yeah, three, three P's. P's on Instagram. Yeah. And then uh, if they want to hit you up for package deals and shit, do you have a website or something? Uh, no, nah, just DM me on the gram. You can go on my website. You can book a package deal. I also got payment plans and shit. Ooh, everything. You know, like, Damn, I, you can can like, I can finance you all that. I got, I'm connected. Damn. I got banks and shit. I'm connected Zip, with. Pay, Listen to this. You can fucking no, break I got a, I got a, what the fuck do we use? A firm? No, uh, the one where we, we, we get them financed with their credit and shit. Klarna? Not, not Klarna. We got Sweet Pay, and which is the other one? We got Flex Buy, Sweet Pay. That's go. some other shit. Yeah, it's like, that's like where I, I get the money deposited in your bank account. Wow. And then you pay. It's not Klarna. I got Klarna too on my website, Klarna, Affirm, all that. But this is some other shit where it's like, you know, like. We can get you financed off your credit. I, 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 <laughs> like, I'll get the money in your account and then you pay me. Like, right, you, know, I got I, you. I, like you need the 10 bands? I'll get that shit deposited in your account. Yeah, we're going to get like, you the loan. I'll get the loan for you. Yeah, you know I got what I'm you. <laughs> yeah, we got yeah, you. We know yeah, the yeah, I got you all some that. money off the loan, bro. See, yeah. look, this man's a business man. Yeah. You hear that? He lending. You feel me? Yeah, all that shit, bro. So that's a lot of people that don't have money. I get them the loans. Fuck it. I love it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it is what it is. Flip is out here making dreams happen, bro. This is amazing. I got kids, damn it. I got kids. I got to <laughs> Baby, they do show, nigga. Gotta feed my kids, man. Yeah, dude. <laughs> God damn. Listen, man, Flip. Thank you so much for tapping in with us, man. Oh, yeah. We really appreciate it. Of course, bro. We'll have you back on the fucking show. Well, We're I gonna pull up back. over there. We're here to fucking uh, definitely promote all the shit, all the packages. Hit up uh, DJ Flip with three P's on Instagram. P P P for all your fucking music services. And let me say one thing. Tell them. Be careful with the scammers. There's some <laughs> fucking. Fools from other countries. I don't know what they are. Indian, Nigerian. I don't know. They, they. I don't know who the fuck they are. They be. They have they a hold of my email shit? list. They got my email list and numbers. I don't know how they got it. My shit's full secured. I don't know how they got this they shit. They scamming shit up. They calling everybody, pretending they my managers, trying to sell deals for three hundred dollars and shit oh. through the emails. So be careful. I didn't. I didn't. I. And the thing is, I text people though. Like I got. So be fucking my shit up. You know what I'm saying? Like, Fuck. I actually got a number where I text people you text the, the and I list. email people, but they doing the same shit to my list and making this, it's like fucking it up. So, yeah, fuck them. Be so, careful. If you if you get a text, just hit me up on the gram and yeah. ask me if it's me. So I'll make, tell you. Yeah. Make blue sure, check, DJ Flip. The, make the blue sure check. it's blue check, flip with three Ps. Yeah. That's how you know it's real. Yeah, that's how you know it's real because motherfuckers, they be getting people. $300 record deals. Fuck like up, just man. cash at me, yeah. Just WWW like just sell me three hundred bucks, <laughs> and we'll get you this deal. And people just selling money, like, all damn. so be careful. Yeah, yeah man. I gotta spread awareness. You feel me? There Thank you. Know. you. Yeah, that's camp. the that's the you know the fake DJ flips. Yeah, warning fuck, advisor. Fuck the fake DJ flips. Over fuck there. the fake if flips. If you watching this, fuck you. I'm gonna find you. Fuck them. We'll find them too, man. Yeah, fuck them. Fuck you, dog. Crazy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shit's real out here. Yeah, dude. So shout out again, DJ Flip, 3Ps. Thank you for tapping in with us, man. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, hit the bell. We're tapping out. Yeah. I'm yes, tapped sir. in. Stop playing. Back on that X. <laughs>